Hey guys, today we're going to talk about something a little bit funny. I, uh, you know, I've, I've been doing a little bit of dating and I introduced myself. And one of the ways I introduced myself is I was like, well, I'm a software engineer and I'm pretty much a stereotype. And they say, well, what do you mean? I was like, what do you think the average software engineer is like? And then I have them describe it. And they're usually pretty close because I meet the stereotype. Uh, and it's sort of funny because I'm perpetuating it just by being who I am. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of funny to talk about some of the ways that I'm just a stereotypical software engineer in people's minds. I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been partnering up with Dev Mountain for a couple of years now, and I've had the chance to see multiple campuses and housing. I've been really impressed. Dev Mountain has a couple different programs from web dev to iOS development, software QA, and UX design. Some are after-hours part-time programs, and some are fully immersive programs where they actually include housing at no additional cost so you can get up and go. If you're interested in finding out more, there's a link in the description below. So I think a, a, a very practical way of starting is like, what you're a software engineer, do you play video games? And like, here I am sitting in like a Nintendo 64 shirt. And like, Dylan, you probably made that for the video. You probably just wore that because you knew you were going to do this video. So here's a picture of me at a conference. Uh, you can see it's the same shirt. This is one I was speaking at, not only attending, and I have a PlayStation shirt on at the conference. So I'm definitely very much so a stereotype in that aspect. Now, I think a lot of people when they think software engineer, they think like, um, like the stereotype is like white guy, you know, like white and then guy. And then, and then also like guy with glasses and, and braces, right? Like that's the, you know, that and pocket protector. I've never had a pocket protector for the record, but, um, I have had glasses and braces like <laughs> as working as a software engineer. So it's like, yeah, I got my eyes lasered and I got my braces off, but you're not you're not wrong. On a side note, come here, Gator. Gator. Look at this beautiful dog here. This is my baby boy. If you guys haven't seen Gator before, oh, this is Boise. This is my big boy Gator. Oh, he's about 70 pounds now. He's my big baby. I just bring it up because... When I was going through here looking for photos for this video, I came across this little bit, this little puppy picture of him from about a year and a half ago. He's just so jumpy. Uh, <laughs> I thought he was adorable. Um, but you know, you have that. I got my PlayStation shirt. I do, uh, you know, I did have the braces and the glasses, and uh, I'm really into like anime. Like, <laughs> so, so I watch. It's so funny, man. I, I, I'm going to scare all these women away, uh, being too honest about who I am. But they're like, oh, I don't know, you probably watch and do dorky shit. I like, define, like, the dorkiest, baby. Like, <laughs> like, did anyone catch the finale of My Hero uh, Academia Season 4? Endeavor over there putting in work, redeeming himself? I did. I watched it, like, five times. I loved it, man. Oh, man. But it's just sort of funny because, like, Sometimes we, we get so caught up on um, as you go and you just want to be just um, I find myself at, at times uh, it's it's hard being yourself to new people, but I force myself to do it. And that's one of the ways I had like, OK, how dorky do you think I really am? Because <laughs> I assure you, I'm very. Um, and I just sort of was sitting here realizing that i was perpetuating the stereotype of software engineers like it's true like most people and it you know it's what's crazy is i go into like i don't even have like braces or i don't have uh glasses anymore they still know i was <laughs> i went my buddy was getting uh some getting his wisdom teeth removed and i went in, in the waiting room because i'd drive him home somehow the people in the office knew that so I had something to do with tech and technol uh, tech or software, and they're asking me like, "Hey, my my son's having an issue with an Excel file, and like, it's how'd you know? Do you know why? Because I'm the stereotype. I've realized I am the stereo stereotype. Now, does that mean uh, we're doing any harm? I don't think so. I'm just living my life, and um, you know, the stereotypes are stereotypes for a reason. I guess I don't know. 
but uh, and they don't necessarily have to be bad. Um, I would probably guess that if you queried the public, like just the general American public, and there'd be a certain percent that would do all the same things I do, and then there would be a higher percent that we're software engineers that do all the same things I do. Like, like it's probably pretty true. And I, I know from just my audience that a lot of us play games. A lot of us um, are, you know, very into tech. And, uh, you know, like my whole house is like smartified. Uh, so, like that's not necessarily a, um, a stereotype, but you're not surprised, are you? You're not surprised that I have, uh, you know, Felix Hughes lights and uh, a Google uh, home in every room that I just am talking to all the time. I bet you're not. <laughs> I bet you just assumed I did. Um, so it's uh, it's a little funny at times because it's it's like you don't know me, you don't know my life, you know what I'm into, and it's like, well, do you like video games? Yeah, I like video games. Do you have hobbies on computers? Yeah, I got hobbies on computers. Did you have braces and glasses? Yeah, everyone has braces and glasses. Hmm. <laughs> just like you watch anime yeah watch anime you don't know me <laughs> it's uh i don't know i was just sitting here thinking about that and um it's funny at times but uh you know as you go and i i should i should say that um as a young man i i don't consider myself a much of a young man once i got a mortgage and dogs and things like that i sort of stopped being a young man and just became an old man in my eyes uh, in terms of life <laughs> and uh you know you go on if life happens in phases right um doesn't necessarily mean age there's plenty of 80 year old people who still just don't they never grew up I, I don't know how how that happened um same thing with 30 year old men still acting like they're 15 um but uh when i was uh, a younger man a young man, I, I was ashamed of who I was, and it wasn't, maybe ashamed isn't the right word, but, like, I'd be watching the anime and the secrets, you know what I mean, like, nobody knew, like, you know, it's just me on the laptop watching anime, well, you know, God, back in the day, probably Naruto, before Naruto Shippuden, um, just trying to think, uh, you got Inuyasha, Yu Yu Hakushu, uh, of course, you got Dragon Ball, but I'd just be watching it all by myself. Never, you know, I, I had girlfriends. I had all, all that sort of stuff. Never watched it with them. Not in a million years. I'd be playing, like, uh, turn-based Japanese RPGs. Uh, things like Shikoden. Um, games like, you know, Final Fantasy, Breath of Fire. Not not around them, I'm not. like, <laughs> And it's... Um, at some point, you know, I'm reading sci-fi novels. Like, there's another stereotype. What, what sort of books do you read for fun? Sci-fi and fantasy. Like, what are some of your favorite books? You ever watch Ender... You know, you ever see the movie Ender's Game? There's a whole seven-book series I watched on that. You know the Xanth series? It's a 30-book series about a magical kingdom. <laughs> like it's, it's like, I'm so dorky. You have no idea. Uh, <laughs> but that's me. That's always been me. And, um... I bring this up because to a degree I um I remember being a young man and sort of uh being uh, uncomfortable with who I who I am and who I who I want to be. And one thing that I've I've had uh you know I have sort of these mantras in the back of my head at times and one when it comes to life is get good, get great, get better. And that's sort of the approach I'm trying, I've taken with my career and I'm trying to apply it in other aspects. And another is be myself always. And the reason that it's that is um, I found it's just not very good for my mental health. It's not good for who I, who I want to be. And, um, you know, not to end this on a very serious note, which is supposed to be a funny video, but it's hard sort of living your life in the shadows in, in little ways like this where you want to open up to the, the people that you care about in various ways and, and tell them what your life's like. But at the same time, you, you sort of feel strange. And it's uh, maybe not as much uh, as in the past. And not, not really anymore because now it's just like take me or leave me. But as a young man, I've definitely felt that way with some of these hobbies and some of these interests and things like that. Um. Yeah, you know, it's all going to work out in the end. But I thought that was kind of funny. Anyhow, guys, sort of a, a strange video today. And uh, you got to see a little uh you got to see a little puppy picture of Gator on the gram. 
as the kids say. He saw it on the gram. <laughs> oh, I'm getting old. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate y'all. If you're interested in any of my courses, there are links in the description below. And if you um, you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm on that road to 100,000. Really going to help out the, um, the channel. I'm trying to get that silver play button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.